Okay, guys, welcome. So I'm just going to do a quick video on how to record your presentations uh, for the 2020 School of Science conference. A pretty easy way to do it is just to record in Zoom by screen sharing your PowerPoint slide and then um, reading your script off it for your presentation. And then you can upload that file straight to views. It's very simple. I'll take you through it. Uh, I'll be doing this if you have just one computer monitor. Obviously, this is a lot easier if you have a few, but hey, here's how to do it on a 15 inch uh, laptop. First thing I want to do is make sure I've got my script open and my PowerPoint slide open. Now, it's a good idea to put these at the top of your page. So one, when you're reading the script, it looks like you're looking into the camera and it's a little bit more engaging for the audience. And two, we need to have this PowerPoint slide pretty big so we can select it and share it. Um, all right, once you've got those two things open and put at the top of your screen, you need a bit of space down the bottom here. Next thing you're going to want to do is open Zoom. Now, once we open Zoom, all we have to do is hit new meeting. Cool, we've got a new meeting here. Let's just put some of this stuff out of the way here. Move this down a little bit. Gonna join our audio. Beautiful, put this out of the way. Great, okay. Just make sure your camera's looking good. Yeah, do your hair a little bit and we're getting good mic signal, awesome. You can just record this with an Apple headset as well. You don't have to worry too much uh, about like good audio and things like that. Obviously you wanna make sure the audio is uh, picking it up but don't stress too much. Next thing you wanna do is share screen, right? And we wanna share our presentation. So to do that, we just hit share screen down the bottom here. Now uh, this is gonna bring up lots of options. Uh, it'll give us lots of options of apps that we can share or whole screens. Really what we wanna do is just share a portion of our screen. So we're gonna hit advanced here and it says portion of screen. So we're just gonna select that and hit share. And you can see here, it brings up this green little box. Now this box might not be this size when you get it, it could be bigger, but to make that the right size, what we do is align it on our PowerPoint presentation. Whoop, and then make it a little bit smaller. So now Zoom's only gonna share that small portion of our screen and anything that's in this portion of our screen, including our mouse, we'll be able to see. So we can like point to things on the PowerPoint slide and things like that during your presentation too, which is a good idea. Now it's really important you have all of these things set up before we start recording in Zoom. Because the easiest way to do this, like if, if you have tails and, and starts on the end of your presentation that you don't want on there, then you have to open external editing software to kind of edit them down. So you, want to, you only want to hit record when you're ready to go. So have your script set up, have your screen share all set up before you hit record. But we've done that now, so we're ready to hit record in Zoom. Now sometimes there's a recording option down the bottom here. For here, or if it's not, you can just hit more. And then we can go record on the cloud or record on this computer. I'm gonna hit record on this computer. It's probably safer unless you have um, the cloud set up already. And as soon as I hit this record button, I'm gonna be begin my presentation. So here we go. Have I informed everybody? Yes, just hit continue here. Okay, so this is me presenting my presentation now. I wanna read straight off the DNA molecule that contains all the genes required, blah, blah, blah. You don't wanna hear my presentation just yet. So I can keep recording my presentation. The good thing is I can point to things on the screen with my mouse and Zoom will record that. I can change slide when I get to new sections in my presentation that I wanna show, and Zoom will record that. Let's just say I've done all my presentation now, I've walked through, I've thanked all of my um, contributors and, and everybody who, all of my collaborators. I've finished my presentation now, so what do I do? Basically, as soon as I hit stop record, the recording will stop, so that's all we wanna do. Stop recording, great, end of my presentation. Now, if I wanna do some more stuff in Zoom, I can, but we don't, so I'm just gonna stop share. And I'm gonna end my Zoom meeting. Now when I end my Zoom meeting, Zoom's gonna start saving that record file. Ends my Zoom meeting. You can see here it's converting the recording. Now after it's finished converting the recording, it's gonna ask me, it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. Now it does save all in files on documents if you wanna find it. That might be different on every computer, so you'll have to look around, but it brings up this dialog box. I like to take this file and rename it. Let's go, Alex presentation test. Cool. And I might just wanna save it somewhere where I can find it again. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the desktop for now. Great. Now we can shut down Zoom. We've got our file. We can double check that file if we want to as well. Okay, 
So this is me presenting my presentation now. I want to read straight off the DNA molecule that contains all the genes required, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear my presentation just yet. Um, and we can upload it straight to views. So if I go onto views now, give me one second. Here we go. So here's the views homepage for the School of Science uh, conference. You guys will have access to this eventually too. And we come down here to presentation submission, hit presentation submission, conference presentation submission. We can hit that. You can see here, all we need to do now is browse our computer go on to desktop, we can find the presentation and we can just hit open and it'll upload it. And we can also type in, write a submission here and type in our abstract and then just hit submit. So that's how you upload a presentation. If you wanna do multiple takes guys, I suggest shutting Zoom down and re-recording every time. So you don't get those like tops and tails. Otherwise you're gonna get a really long presentation that you have to kind of edit down and just take the best bits of. So you better to hit record and stop record just at the start and stop of your presentation. So you get a nice clean file. Thanks a lot.